Welcome to this instructional video on how to teach kindergarten students how to code. This video is made with kindergarten teachers in mind. I will be introducing you to the CodeStudio.org website, giving you a few strategies on how to teach your students and provide options for feedback related to this video. Let's begin. So let's start by using or searching for code.org k-5 and we want the curriculum as we scroll down halfway through this page we're going to come to the section that we're here for which is the k-5 through curriculum overview and since we're talking about kindergartens we're going to be focusing on course one which teaches sequences loops collaboration problem solving and safety there is also mention and practice of algorithms um, so we're gonna click on try it now and so we immediately receive a course overview where we're gonna find a few unplug activities intermingled along the different stages and so these are for people or for teachers or classrooms who have limited or no, no um, technology such as computers or touch screens or uh, Chromebooks I usually start on stage 3-1 where we test to see if our kids can click and drag I normally have my students do click and drag activities before we do this um, code studio coding since we're dealing with early readers there's also co color coding and they'll begin to recognize this color as a continue button each level has an assessment stage. In the case of level three, we want to make sure that kids know that certain blocks need to be put together. And so they need to know that these are kind of tricky and that once they stick, it's hard for them to come loose unless you grab it at the bottom. And so for stage four, we have a sequence puzzle section. And so it's important to teach the students that these blocks correspond to movements and how each movement make the bird get to the pig. And so I usually have classroom activities where I place myself as the bird and use someone else as the pig. So they will begin to visually see how these movements get them to the pig. And another thing is, you will allow them to help each other, so don't, you will challenge them, but don't let them sink. Help them so that they don't get frustrated. And one way of doing that is have some of them stand up and help the other ones, especially the ones that are done. We can really go ahead and help. Just tell them that they need to verbalize it, they can point to the screen, but do not move the mouse. That's all for it for today. So if you have any comments, make it in the comment section. If you have any questions, I'm going to post this in my blog also so that I can communicate with you directly. Thank you for watching.